Okay, so a quick update. Um, I had some issues with uh, going to the toilet and they were really bothering me. I don't really want to go into too much detail, but basically I had two pretty epic fails um, where, fuck it, I'm just going to say it. Like I've got this little chair, you can see it actually, it's right next to my bed here with the hole in it. And um, I had some issues where I thought I'd finished pooing and then I decided to sort of manoeuvre around the bathroom and then some poo ended up on the floor because like I hadn't and I've kind of like the feeling down there is um, sort of limited. Basically I had two rather big poo fails um, and it really frustrated me. It got me really down man. Like I, it was like I was really low. I had a really bad day. But that was one of the worst experiences so far of being handicapped. I could have just rung the bell. That's the funny thing. I could have just rung the bell. But I wanted to do it myself and now it's two o'clock in the fucking morning. And I went for a poo about three hours ago. Anyway, I guess, you know, keep the body moving. Keep getting stronger, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to see the positives, but I just feel like crying. Fuck it. Oh, and I forgot to brush my teeth. Fucking. Fuck. Kind of worries me about like if 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 this if thing if things can be this hard here, in this rehabilitation center, then how fucking hard is it going to be in the real world? You know, like. Questions like, when am I going to stop wearing nappies? You know, like, I had this thought earlier, it really upset me. I know it sounds really stupid, but I got a load of, like, really nice underwear for Christmas. And it's like, I'm just wearing nappies, man. And that fucking pisses me off that I'm, like, I can't be trusted to, like, not wear protective underwear. Oh, it's getting me down. It's getting me down. Today is a down day. I'm really trying to not let it get me down, but you know. Whew! You know, I think I'm just gonna. I need to take it easy. Be kind to myself. I'm a bit emotional today. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh,. I've meditated now, and um, I mean, how can you not feel better after meditation? It just, re I just, it really just gives you perspective, and I need to realise I need to stop thinking about the future and worrying about the past, and I need to, you know, just live in the present moment more, you know, and be grateful for the things I do have, and not the things I don't. Um, Fo you know, focus on the things that are important. And there's a lot of things to be grateful for. And um, I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing good. I'm making a lot of progress. Like, I've, I've made so much progress, I forget um, where I was a week ago and where I am now and how much further I've got to go. Um, but you've just got, I've got to try and sort of stay in the present moment and sort of keep focused on little things and... I just wanted to say that I've just come back from an epic poo. Um, it was, like I say, like every time I have a setback or something that's annoyed me um, or something that's expanded my comfort zone, it's been painful, it's been, it's been emotional, it's been uncomfortable, and it's been a bit of a pain in the ass, a bit of a ball ache, you know? But every time I do it, I um, am more prepared for the next time that situation arises. And it's a running theme here, to be fair. Um, but this one was really bothering me because obviously being able to use the toilet um, on your own is important for, you know, your own independence. And also, I think I was a bit too stubborn. Like, I, was, I refused to ring the bell for help. And today I did ring the bell, but I like most of the bits that were important I did myself but I've kind of like worked pretty hard and I, I got, again I've been speaking with the physio and he's saying like 
you got to remember, you know, 23 days ago, you were in surgery. Um, you've come a long way. Don't overwork yourself, man. Don't be afraid to ring the bell. Like, you can do these things, but you've got to do them a bit slower. So I'm coming to that realization that, you know, I can't just smash it, you know, like definitely the lowest day here in Evian for me. My mood was very low all day and I kind of needed to end on a win and I did. But uh, I still feel like when I get these low moments, which are going to be inevitable, there's going to be more of them. In the words of Ronan Keating, life is a roller coaster. You just got to ride it. Which, by the way, I listened to the other day and that song is awful. It is truly awful. It's got one good lyric. It's, uh, yeah, don't go listening to it, it's rubbish. But I've just got to keep remembering that there will be more of these times and this is an ongoing challenge and just to, you know, keep your chin up, man. And, you know, keep counting those wins. Uh, in other news, I'm getting this like crazy twitch in my leg where my foot keeps like sort of moving up and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it's like an involuntary spasm. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to add, which is, is I don't know how I didn't think of this earlier, but I've obviously been uh, making a blog and putting content on YouTube and never thought about checking for advice, like there's other sort of like paraplegics out there giving advice on like how to solve problems that I've been having. Mate, it's like the internet. How, why did I forget to use the internet? Like <laughs> I'm always using the internet. So like, it's really good. I, uh, I watched some videos about like how sort of like different pooing techniques that paraplegics use um, for people that have the problem that I have. And yeah, they just told me what to do and I, and I did it. It helped a lot. So remember, we've got the internet. <laughs> Selfie. I love the photo you took. Oh, is it a video? My love. Yeah. You're shy. Mm -hmm. Cuddles with my love. <laughs>